Good day my students, uh, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is on measurement of high voltage. So this is an electrostatic voltmeter question uh, which has a movable circular plate 8 centimeters in diameter and the distance between the plates during measurement is about 4 millimeters. You are to determine the potential difference when the force of attraction is as shown which is 0 0.2 times 10 to the power negative 3 by 9.8 uh, newtons. So before we go further let's discuss what is an electrostatic voltmeter an electrostatic voltmeter is is a type of uh, instrument that has one plate that is fixed so in this case this plate is fixed and then the other plate is mobile so the mobile plate moves due to the force of attraction between these two plates and this mobile plate as it moves it diverts or changes the 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 scale or moves the def deflects the the scale and then you can see the reading of that scale in this case this is what is known as a linear uh, electrostatic voltmeter so it's using a linear motion uh, for the plate to move linearly and uh, moves in that case other types may have a light beam arrangement as you can see this one where as it moves the movable plate moves the light beam changes and that diverts the scale movement and shows you the reading on the voltmeter now there are two types of uh, uh, electrostatic voltmeters and the first type is the one that we've just described where we are saying we've got uh, a movable plate and a fixed plate okay so you've got the movable plate is obviously connected to some form of uh, a spring and then uh, we can depict this movable plate so this is the fixed plate and then we have the movable plate which is this one so we can display it in form of um, similar to the Townsend experiment and this can be uh, given an input of, 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 of power into the system. And this movable plate is going to be attracted and it will move by a force moving across this distance, the distance given as distance D. So this is the movable plate, you can symbolize it by M. And as it moves uh, there, we are able to determine the force of, attra of attraction in the system and that is what we use uh, for the purpose of studying. In this case, uh, what you are going to see is that for your movable plate, your force of attraction is going to be half V squared uh, DC over DX, DX being the distance between these two plates. And as I mentioned, because you have these two plates, they will act in a similar fashion as the Townsend's um, theorem, where you're looking at it in behaving in form of uh, capacitance. So you have the capacitance uh, incorporated and considered in this case. So your capacitance then is calculated as epsilon naught over multiplied by um, the cross-sectional area or of the plate over the distance uh, between the plates and this can be uh, dc dx thus giving us minus epsilon zero uh, cross section area over distance squared okay so this then can replace we can replace this in here and we are going to have half v squared epsilon um, a uh, over d squared as the formula the other type of um, an electrostatic voltmeter that you have is the one that has a rotational disc so one disc is uh, is rotational 
whereas the other one is uh, stationary. So you have a stationary disk in that format and then you have a mobile uh, mobile disk so this disk moves and is connected uh, to some spring so this is mobile or movable movable plate and this plate is fixed okay and because you have a fixed plate there what you are going to have is now the distance that we measure between these two plates is the rotational distance which can be considered by the angle theta so it's an angle that is going to move uh, like so and uh, in this case what we have is that uh, for the movable plate for us to do the calculations what we are going to obtain is that we are going to calculate the torque the deflection torque what we call the deflection torque and this deflection torque is going to be equal to half uh, v squared uh, dc d theta so this is the distance now that the plate is going to cover and this we call this a uh, deflecting uh, torque deflecting torque okay so these are the two types of electrostatic voltmeters and this is the way that they operate and and move now let's look at uh, the example and then i'll show you um uh, the, the question that we have in the example uh in the tutorial and there's one more that i'll add on for our discussion so the question that we had was that you've been asked to find the voltage so the question is asking us to find the voltage and we have got the area of the plate which can also be found by pi r squared um, it's the same we can get the area of the plate in that sense and this will be pi multiplied by r which is half of the diameter of the circular plate that is four four squared and that will give us and then the distance between the plates that has been given is four uh, millimeters and we use that four millimeters in here now remember the force of attraction is going to be equal to a half epsilon uh, v2 over d squared because we've replaced this with a capacitance value and in this case we find now the v2 uh, to be uh, equal to 1.1 uh 8 kilovolts as our solution so this is the reading that we we can now see on the um on the plate on the, uh, the meter itself okay so now let's move on to the next example as i shall show you here's another question that we have on the same electrostatic voltmeters so the question is saying uh an absolute electrostatic voltmeter uses a movable circular plate of 100 millimeters. During the voltage measurement, the distance between the plates is 3 millimeters and the force of attraction is 0.002 newtons. If the medium between the plates is air, determine the value of the applied voltage. Now, what we have here... Uh, so if we look at the solution to this, we've been told we've got the diameter uh, of the plate. Uh, so diameter is equal to 100 millimeters. And then we've been given that the distance between the plates is 3 millimeters. The force has been given as 0.002 newtons. And we've been asked to find the value of the applied voltage V. So as we can see, if we remember, our force is going to be equal to half V squared uh, DC DX, which 
if we replace by the capacitance value, so we've got epsilon um, v squared, uh, you've got the cross sectional area A over D squared. And that is what we have as the formula. So if we replace in the values that we've been given, the force has been given as 0 0.002 newtons. That is equal to half um, epsilon zero, or which we can take now the, this to be equal to the permittivity of free space. That is epsilon zero. Um, so V squared epsilon zero cross-sectional area over d squared. And from this, we can derive the value or the equation for the voltage, which is V in this case, is going to be, because everything is uh, going to be under the square root. So we've got 0 0.002, which is the force, multiplied by this 2 here, which is 2, multiplied by the distance squared, which is d squared. So the distance that we have is, uh, that is three millimeters. So we convert that 10 to the power negative three and it is squared. And that is over epsilon zero cross-sectional area. And this is, uh, 8.854 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 12. This multiplies by either we get the diameter, like we mentioned, we can use the diameter, which is pi over 4 multiplied by the diameter um, squared. So the diameter is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 squared. Or in this case, you could use uh, pi r squared as the value for this uh, section. And then we find uh, the force equal to, so if I go to my next page, the voltage then is equal to uh, 719.5 volts. So this is the voltage that we get uh, when we use uh, uh, the electrostatic voltmeter. Okay, so this, of course, there are more examples as regards uh, the, the scale of deflection. So that one, uh, I think we did discuss that in class last time. But in any case, uh, it's important for you to check also the questions on the uh, the electrostatic voltmeter that uses a, a disc rotation disc for deflection. My dear friends, thank you for watching this channel. Subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you. Have a good day.